All right, guys, DJ and Lifer here bringing you guys the top uranium, nuclear, and lithium stocks that I think are going to have huge potential here in the near future. And I'm going to explain to you guys why I am so bullish on these stocks because everything that's what's going on here with the global markets, the geopolitical spectrum, the world economics. We are seeing high de demands for uranium, for nuclear energy. Obviously, you know, there's been talks about a nuclear war. Uh-oh. Yeah, nuclear is becoming in high demand. Uranium coming in high demand. Lithium all coming in high demand. We think they're going to need these minerals to make those uh, batteries that go in Tesla cars. We think, how are we going to be able... To support all the energy that we are going to need to be sustainable in this world. We're going to need these minerals, guys. That's why I am very bullish on these stocks. So I do have a list here. I'm going to go through these lists that have been found on the internet. Then I'm going to go through my own list. Then I'm going to go through some of the stock picks that I'm personally invested in. And of course, guys, do your due diligence. Degen responsibly at the end of the day. I'm just a Degen buffoon, crazy guy on the internet. Always do your own research. All right, here we go. Uranium. Here are the top uranium stocks. Coming in at number one, they got BHP. BHP's Olympic Dam mine is in Australia. It's one of the largest uranium deposits in the world. Although copper is the primary resource mine in the Olympic Dam, the asset also hosts uranium, gold, and silver. And then another one, number two, we got Chem Chemico. Chemico. It's at uh, and New York Stock Exchange is CCJ. Um, yes, CGCJ. Chemico's key operation include a 50% stake in the Sashashashuan based cigar lake. I'm probably messed that pronunciation all up. Okie dokie, which is considered the most prolific uranium mine in the world the company also has a 70 percent stake in the MacArthur river mine and an 83 percent interest in the key lake mill both located in the provinces in athabasca basin which is a prolific uranium jurisdiction yes Cameco. this is one of the no, one i actually personally invested in so more on that later Coming number three, we got Next Gen Energy. That is NXE. Uranium Exploration and Development Company Next Gen Energy is focused on projects in Canada's the Athabasca Basin. Its main property is Rook One, which hosts a number of discoveries, including Arrow and South Arrow. Next Gen also holds a 51% interest in the exploration stage company ISO Energy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Coming in number four, we got Uranium Energy, another one I am personally invested in as well. And this market cap, I actually did not mention the market caps. This one's $1.36 billion. Next Gen was $2.33 billion. Chemico is a bigger one. That's a you know mid-upper range uh, market cap. That's $14 billion. And then the BHP one is the large market cap. That's $151 billion. So back to Uranium Energy, this is UEC. I am also personally invested in this one. Uh, uranium Energy has two production ready, is pseudo recovery, the IRSR, hub and spoke platforms in South Texas and Wyoming that includes fully licensed and operational processing capacity at the Hobson and Irigaray plants. The company also has a pipeline of seven US-based ISR uranium projects with all the major per permits in place uh, uranium energy made a number of strategic acquisitions recently including the uex in august 2022 and development stage rough rider uranium project from the rio tento and then coming in number five is energy fuels that is ticker price uh uu uu market cap 975 million dollars folks under a billion the largest producer of uranium in the U.S., Energy Fuels provides major nuclear power plants with uranium from its White Mesa mill in Utah, the country only conventional uranium mill. The mill has licensed capacity of over 8 million pounds of the U308 per year. Aside from the White Mesa, the company holds a Nichols Ranch ISR project in Wyoming. 
The Nichols Ranch is currently on standby and has a license capacity of 2 million pounds of the U308 per year. Outside uranium energy fuels produce rare earths and vanadium. Vanadium. Wow. Those are the five here on this list here. Um, I'll go into the lithium stocks here later on, so we'll save that. But I want to go into my portfolio here. Yes, guys, I'm holding on to uranium energy. I'm going to show you guys why here. Look at that five-year chart, guys. Five years, folks. This thing's up 123%. Last year, believe it or not, we were actually kind of down for the year, but uh, in the year to date. But the last three months, we've been seeing it going back up 45%. Last month, 23%. Last week, 7%. And then, of course, today we're up almost 1%. Yeah, buddy. Got myself a nice bag of this. Got 500 shares already up in profit. I'm going to be holding this, guys. I plan on holding this for quite some time. Reason why is it's one of the least risky stocks in my opinion because look how it performed in the bear market you know we were pretty bearish in 2022 and this thing held up pretty well considerably uh we did see it go down here this is during the which the stock markets were rallying pretty hard this did go down a little bit but it were quickly recovered so we're now we're back in this range and i think we could potentially see things going back up again as like I said, uranium, huge demand for uranium right now. Um, definitely, yeah, buy 100%, six reigns. Uh, I think the only thing that's kind of concerns me, maybe the financials kind of look iffy, but it's also been profitable in the past as well. So financials actually don't look too bad. Uh, here's another one, Cameco. This is another one I'm personally invested in. Got myself 50 shares of these. I will be DCA in these. Will be dollar cost averaging. Look at that, guys. Two, up 226% in the last five years. Past year, it's up 40%. Year to date, 53%. Three months, 25%. One month, 11%. One week, 5%. Today, up 0.5%. Guys, what is this telling you? It only goes up. It only has been going up, guys. And then this is for the max five years. We actually saw this back in 2007, 2008. Things were going pretty high again. Uh, it tends to go down when rest of the markets go up. It's kind of like an inverse of the market a little bit. Which, you know, those who are bearish of the whole global markets right now, which I kind of am because I have all the geopolitical atmosphere when World War III rumors, a lot of button heads between nations. Um... And then, of course, there's going to be demand, huge demand for energy in general. I mean, we're just going to be consuming more and more energy as things time goes on. And we're going to be needing more this type of energy, clean, sustainable energy. Um, that's why I'm looking into these. Yeah, Cameco Corp. This is a bigger market cap, but I think it still has a lot of room to grow. Uh, yeah, i am definitely got myself a bag of that. Uh, Denison Mines this is another one I'm going to be holding my personal self. Uh, let's take a look at the five year. Like it's getting, look at 181% for the five year. One year, 15%. Three month, 25%. One month, 14%. One week, 11%. To today, still green. Not moving much, but still green. Like I said, up only. Up only, these things seem to be going. This one, market cap, $1.13 billion. Yeah, Denison Mines Corp. Engages in the exploration and development of uranium. Uh, definitely one I got. And then, of course, another one that was on the list that we were looking at. This one is actually down 1% today. This is Energy Fuels. Uh, this one I'm actually a little more bullish on. Wow, look at that. Three sixes. Uh-oh. Uh, it is still up 10% for the week. Up 8% for the month. Three months, 8%. For the year, this one is actually down 2%. But look at that. Beauty looking for the 5% up 117%. Yeah, Energy Fuels is the mine development company which engages in the exploration and valuation of uranium and the van vanadium properties. Uh, Mark cap, $1.03 billion. Guys, these all contend 100x in the future, folks. 
There's the max there. Still up 17%. You, 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 you. Next gen. Look at this. Loving next gen. This one I'm actually not holding a bag yet, but um, if I could get in a good price, I would. I wish I would have bought it back in April when it was only three dollars, three fifty, because it's gone back up to five dollars. I think it's definitely still a good time to get in. I'm just, oh, it just was not the pick of my choice, but it's still looking really good. Look at this: five year, one hundred fifty one percent; one year, twenty six percent. Last three months, 22%. One month, 11%. One week, 6%. And a day, up 2%. Looking mighty fine. Looking really good. And then last one I found here, UR Energy. This one actually down 2% today. But we look at the five-year, look at 58%. This one's up. Uh, for the year, it's actually down. Not by much, though. Half a percent. But it is up three months, 18%, one month, 17%, one week, 12%. And it's down 2% for the day. This one's got 309 million market caps. So we got a little smaller market cap gems for those DGENs out there. Check it out. Those are your uranium, uranium stocks. Now let's get into the lithium. Lithium. Future will be powered by lithium and metal that is key ingredient for making lightweight, power-dense batteries. Yeah, you're talking about those electric vehicles, guys? What do we need for those electric vehicles? We're going to need lithium batteries. So we have seen lithium been spiking up in price, especially as we move towards using more sustainable vehicles, like electric vehicles, things like that. Uh, here is the list. These are the eight lists. Uh, they got ALB, this $24 billion, Albemarle Corporation, the Sociedad Aquamica, and Minera SA, that's SQM, that's got $20 billion, mark cap. Uh, Mineral Resource Limited, Malray, that's $8.9 billion. Uh, then they got, there's coming into the more smaller mark caps, more of my, my favorites, what I like. Uh, Levent Corporation, LTHM, that's $5 billion. A lithium Americas Corp, LAC, that's $4.4 billion. Uh, Sigma Lithium Corporation, that's SGML, that's $4.1 billion. Uh, the Gainfane Lithium Group, Co, GNENF, $16.6 billion. And then they got the Pilbara Minerals Limited, PILBF, -P -P that's $9.7 billion. So yeah, a little bigger market caps here. But I do got some smaller mark caps that I've been keeping my eyes on as well. So let me show you guys those. Uh, first off, we got the Levent, which we mentioned. Like, again, look at this. Five years, up 36%. Uh, one year, actually down 25%. Down 12% for three months. Down 21% for one month. One week. Wow, we are seeing a lot of red on levent maybe this is a buying opportunity but i would wait i would wait see if it goes down a little bit lower under 20 dollars though 20 dollars might be uh under 20 might be a good buy uh mark cap is only 3.95 billion so there's one there for you got this lithium americas this one is up 107 percent all time this one for the last five years look at this up 398%. Huge, guys. Down 38% this year. Down 50% the last three months. Down 10% last month. One week, we're about broke even. And then for the day, we're actually almost up 1%. This one's got a market cap of $2.94 billion. So it's got a smaller market cap. Something I'm definitely going to keep on my radars, guys. Keep it on my watch list. Uh, we got... Sigma Lithium, this one's $34 uh, for the last five years, up 324%, guys. That's huge. Uh, last year, still up 46%. This is a good one. This one's been performing pretty well. Is down 13% in the last three months, down 13% for the one month, down 5% for the last week, and we are down 4% for the day. And this market cap is $3.48 billion. Another one I'm going to be keeping on my radars. Look at that, guys. Just been technically up only for, you know, over a course period of time. Yeah, buddy. Uh, next one, we got Standard Lithium. This one, five-year, is actually down 21%. 
Uh, last three months up 8%, one month 15. So this has kind of been a kangaroo market for this guy. This one's actually down 9% for the day. Market cap, 646 million. Smaller market cap for your lithium here. We also got Piedmont lithium. This one's up 259% for the five year. One year we're down 31%. Three months, 23%. One month, 23%. 5% for the week. 1% for the day. $859 million for Piedmont Lithium. And then last one. This one I'm saving uh, for last. Because uh, this is one I might actually get myself in. But it might be aping this because I love the market cap. Still relatively low. $267 million. And it's already up. Still up 275% in the last five years. 308% for the one year, three month, 43%, one month, 33%, one week, 4%. And today we're still up 2%. This thing just wants to keep going up. So that is one I'm going to be considering getting in here, folks, because it's still got a relatively small market cap. Well, let me know, guys, down in the comments what you guys think. What do you think about this list? What do you think about getting into this sector, guys? I'm telling you. I'm pretty bullish on energy right now because we are going to need it no matter what. Well, let me know what's your thoughts. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.